Hey everyone, in this problem we're looking at a merry-go-round and the first part of the problem asks us to find the linear or tangential speed of a person at some radial distance from the center of the merry-go-round. So I'm going to draw a simple diagram here. Here's a circle of an aerial view of the merry-go-round and I'm going to put this point defining that as the center of the merry-go-round. And the problem gives us how far away the person is from the center. So it's the radial distance. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to show that on the diagram as just being at the edge of the merry-go-round, though it could be at some distance closer. So I'm defining this distance here to be 1.2 meters. And the problem asks for the linear speed. Now linear speed is related to angular speed by a very simple formula. The linear speed V is equal to the angular speed omega times the radial distance r. Now for our purposes we are not given the angular speed directly but we are given enough information to figure it out because the angular speed is how long it takes for it to make one full revolution per second. So that's 2 pi radians which is one full revolution divided by the amount of time it takes which in our case is given to us as 4.0 seconds. So if you put that into your calculator, we find this as 1.57 radians per second. So our angular speed is 1.57 radians per second. And when you multiply this by the radial distance from the center, which is given at, as 1.2 meters. So we just gotta put this into our calculator and we find a linear speed of about 1.9 meters per second. That's the answer for part A. Part B then asks for the acceleration in both components. Now the reason why it specifies both components is because when you have any sort of rotational mo uh, any, any sort of rotational motion, there are two different types of acceleration you're, that you could be dealing with. You could be dealing with either the linear or tangential acceleration, which is basically the acceleration that is tangent or kind of parallel or along the direction of the motion. But you could also be dealing with the radial acceleration, which is the acceleration that any object feels as it's revolving around a point. It is a center-seeking acceleration that is always directed toward the center. Now, when you have any kind of circular motion of a point around another point, there is always, always, always going to be some radial acceleration. There is always going to be a radial component because that is effectively what drives the circular motion. But tangential acceleration only exists if there is some acceleration along the path that it's traveling in. In the case of this problem, that would only happen if there was some angular acceleration as well, if, if the point was speeding up in some way along the direction it's going in. In this case, it doesn't seem like there is a tangential component because nothing in the problem indicates that the speed of the merry-go-round is increasing. Nothing tells us that the merry-go-round is increasing in speed. So for this problem, I think it's safe to assume there is no tangential acceleration. No a tan. But as I said a minute ago, there is always going to be a radial component. Now fortunately, there's a very simple formula for that. The radial component of acceleration has a very simple formula. It's equal to the square of the angular velocity times the radius, the radial distance from the center. Both of these variables we just used already in part A, except the only difference is that the omega is getting squared now. So all we got to do is put into our calculator 1.57 radians per second squared and multiply that by the radial distance uh, 1.2 meters. And if you put that into your calculator, then you'll find an acceleration, let me find my cursor, an acceleration of 3.0 meters per second squared. And because this is a it's because this is a radial, a centripetal acceleration, it is directed toward the center. Toward the center.
toward the axis of rotation for the merry-go-round. So that is our answer for that part of the problem, which means that is also the answer to the entire problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you just like to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.